Seekman Pro offers several different ways to filter the SNPs in your SNP report so that you can really focus in on the putative SNPs you want to review. These filters are located at the top of the SNP report window and we're going to look at a few different projects so that I can show you how each of these filters works. This first project that I'm looking at now has over 117,000 putative SNPs in the SNP report. Now when you apply a filter this report is updated in real time, so you're going to see the rows in the report decreasing as you filter, as well as this total number shown here. Now this first filter shown here on the left gives you the option to select between showing all SNPs, which is the default setting, or you can choose to show only annotated SNPs, which will display only SNPs that occur in positions where the reference sequence has been annotated with a variation feature or you can choose to show only novel SNPs, which will display only SNPs that occur in positions where the reference has not been annotated with a variation feature. So I'm going to choose to show only annotated SNPs, and as you can see that reduced my list down to only 10 SNPs. Now as you can see for this project, we have about 114,000 SNPs when we first open up the SNP report. And for this one, I'm going to start with the SNP percent filter, which is shown here. These minimum and maximum values refer to the percentage of SNP bases in an aligned column. So for example, if I enter 50 for the minimum value, you can see that the report's been updated to only display SNPs that occur in at least 50% of the bases for that position. And that reduces my list down to 234 SNPs. The next filter is the depth filter, and that lets me filter on depth of coverage. So I'm gonna enter 20 here, and that updates the report to show me only SNPs that occur where the depth of coverage is at least 20. So that combined with the SNP percent filter has taken me down to 116 SNPs. The max coding feature distance field, shown over on the right, allows me to display SNPs that occur within a specified distance from any exon or CDS feature on the reference sequence. So I'm going to enter 100 and that reduces my list down to 37. Now, if the project that you're working on was assembled using Seekman Engine, then there are a few additional filters that you'll see on the SNP report. The PNOT ref and Q call filters are related to the Bayesian statistics that are available to calculate SNPs when you use Seekman Engine. The PNOT ref filter allows you to filter on the probability that the SNP is a call different from the reference sequence and those values are shown here in the PNOT ref column. The QCall filter lets you filter on the quality score in the QCall column, and that score is calculated based on the confidence that both the genotype and the SNP call are correct, and that's on a scale of 0 to 60. Finally, there's the show coding filter, and that gives you a few different options. The first one is to show coding SNPs only, and choosing that will display only SNPs that occur within a CDS or Exxon feature on the reference sequence. The second option will show only SNPs that result in a different amino acid translation. And the third will display only SNPs that result in a premature stop codon. So I'm going to choose show coding SNPs only. And that will take my list from 5,300 down to about 4,900. If you have further questions about using SNP filters, or any other questions about our software, please visit our website at dnastar.com or contact us at support at dnastar.com.